What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mark with the Crypto Mark. Let's talk some chain link. Okay, welcome into the channel. Uh, if you have not subscribed, make sure you guys all do. Smash that like button uh, right there down below. Um, let's talk some chain link because as we look into $12 uh, and above, is it time for a correction or future growth for link? Uh, I'm going to do a little chain link price analysis, take a look at the all time chart, and get you guys on your way. Um, please remember, though, not financial advice, always your research and due diligence. We talk crypto here on the channel. Uh, we look at the crypto bubbles. You can see kind of a mixed bag, um, getting as high as 1350 here on the chart, uh, and as low as 1184 on the daily. Uh, it's been kind of a red month, down 18%. But it's important to understand, though, over the course of the past year, uh, we have risen up six spots to an 8.15 billion dollar market cap, um, and having highs as twenty dollars and sixty one cents. So very strong year, up 114%. Uh, pretty much uh, something where we look into chain link. And you can see, uh, forgive me for having my um, uh, my trading indicators kind of dwarfing the chart, but I'll, I'll take those off for a second. And you can see what I'm talking about from an all-time perspective. Uh, here we are at 1338, uh, and this, these are where we had all-time highs at $53. So kind of on board with, you know, you know 4X away, roughly a little bit under 4X, I believe, from all-time highs. So a lot of people are bullish on Chainlink. Now, uh, within this, guys, I do want to share with you Kind of how I feel about it because right now, as we look at these levels, um, we did bounce off. You could see, it, and it's very funny how we look at Bitcoin's chart. We know what's going on with the Mountain Gox liquidations, uh, but if you took Bitcoin's chart and you just stack it right over, like pretty much all the cryptos that we talk about, it is very eerily similar how the market runs in tune with what BTC is doing. So um, this is where we are still seeing momentum down here with my trading indicator, uh, but we are at levels where we got momentum up. Uh, previously back in May. So I, I do look for this to be short-lived. I think we've bounced off very nicely off this floor. Got a little bit lower than I would have liked uh, in in uh, full transparency because this is the um, this is my floor uh, in terms of where exactly we're at, which uh, uh, no, no coincidence there, but that is the exact level that we're trading at. So uh, this is going to be something where I do believe we get above that floor. Um, that's just you know how it, how it's basically programmed into trading. Uh, so this little blip here below this blue line, um, that's kind of just what you have to realize and, and take out of the equation. And that's, I guess that's where TA kind of matters within crypto, right? Because um, a lot of people probably see that momentum down. They see big red candles and they get in panic mode and they just start selling and liquidating crypto assets. Um, that's why it's important not to, uh, not to uh, get emotional, uh, kind of stay the course. Um, I've been doing this for a while. We've been through uh, thick and thin when it comes to crypto and um, catalysts and, you know, the opposite where you just worry about if your wallet's even going to be there in the morning. So uh, we've seen it all. Um, this is something that, quite frankly, didn't even register on my radar. And, you know, we do have some some. Uh, we do have some ground to give up too, because you know being up over 100% on the year it does allow for um, kind of some correction. But uh, if we can get back to this $22 level, that would be very very nice. Um, almost 50% of all-time highs that we hit back uh, in March. So uh, Chainlink is on a little bit of a correction. Uh, let's talk a little bit more uh, about that, okay? Because the market volatility has increased pretty substantially. We've been talking about the Mount Gox liquidations, you know, 175 plus billion dollars of Bitcoin um, gone. Uh, and that's something where I don't blame those guys whatsoever. Having those, you know, those creditors having that fund, uh, those funds tied up for quite some time. Uh, I don't really blame them whatsoever. So um, over the last seven days, we talked about it. Chainlink is dropping. Um, it, it's something where it's correcting. Correcting itself uh, almost like we talked about almost 50% from where we had that local high back in 2024. So the big thing next for us is getting above the 200 day moving average. Also, uh, we are very short term um, in terms of short term numbers, very, very bearish. Um, when we talk about if Bitcoin even gets lower uh, and stays below 55, but uh, we've rebounded back into 57,000 uh, at the time of this recording. So uh, that's kind of where we're at. And uh, this is very interesting. If you guys hold Chainlink, this is probably the take home piece if you want to know more. 78.59% uh, of holders are invested into that zero uh, to $1,000 range. So, um, you know, that's something where you don't really get those numbers quite often. So, uh, it's interesting to see that 80% of the, the holders uh, have a value within that dollar range. So, 
you know, that's kind of what we look at. Uh, a lot of people are saying analysts out there, whales, uh, Chainlink is a very bullish crypto. Uh, a lot of people are calling for $100 by 2025. Uh, so that would basically be a little bit less than double of, of those all-time highs. So uh, we're going to keep monitoring it here on the channel. I do like talking about it. Every time I talk about Chainlink, it's very well-received from the community. Um, quite frankly, I, I think a lot of people don't follow it as much as they should. Um, but as we stand here in 2024, we have way more cryptos in the game uh, than we did back in 2021 and 2022. So let's monitor these levels, right? Um, that's where we have that 20 to $25 resistance. Uh, if we can get some bullish uh, indicators, some optimism back in the market, um, then we can challenge that 20 to $25 level. But for right here, right now, um, you know, right now, it, the, the key is uh, not falling below, uh, not falling further below any of these moving averages because I, I showed you guys on the chart what I was talking about, uh, how we had the support there. It has since essentially kind of formed that 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 wall of, of, of support at $13.30 um, and dipping below that for, you know, uh, just a couple days, that's, that's kind of a, a red flag if we can't rebound and get back above that floor. So um, that's kind of where I'm at with Chainlink. Um, like I said, I think it's comfortable trading uh, in that $15, $16 range. Um, you know, just a tick above this. Uh, we saw a lot of consolidation uh, in the range between $14 and $16. So I think that's the, the step before we can even take on that $20 to $25 mark. But um, still, there's a lot of uncertainty in the market. I think that's the number one story as we get into this new week in crypto. Uh, so I did want to share with you guys a little bit of talk about Chainlink. So uh, with that being said, uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Enjoy um, the good weather. Uh, if you're, you know, recovering from fourth of July weekend, um, you know, I think everybody's doing that on this Monday. So uh, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, enjoy. Uh, and we'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.